Assalamualaikum my dear students. Hope you are enjoying my digital lectures. Yes, I'm Farah Sufyan, your mathematics teacher. I warmly welcome you all on the platform of digital academics provided by Moonlight International Publishers. Today, my topic is finding unknown numbers in addition sentence. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize the use of symbol to represent an unknown such as for example, you can see over here, such as an empty box plus 4 is equals to 7. This is the same thing as 3 plus 4 is equals to an empty box and as well as 4 plus an empty box is equals to 7. Remember one thing. These are the rules which you need to remember. The first thing is addition is a process of combining two or more numbers add-ins are the numbers being added so the names of these numbers are basically called add-ins okay and the result of the final answer we get after the, this process okay the after the process is called the sum for example, you can check the example 3 plus 5 is equals to 8 is written over here. Here, 3 and 5 both are add-ins and the number 8 which is the final answer is the sum. If one of the add in for example, from this 3 or 5 one is missing, so we, what we do? Then we do subtract and to find the sum we do addition as you already know that this is the simple thing 3 plus 5 is 8. This is simple if we want to find out the answer this which is the sum. So this is very easy we do add them. But if one of these two these are add and one of the add and is missing then we are going to subtract it from the total which is the sum and we are going to get the answer okay which is the empty box okay which we don't know actually or you can say in other word which is unknown so here's an example check on your screen the example is find the unknown number and this is the part a part a is saying you that how many ducklings are over here these are count by yourself one two three four five these are five ducklings so there is written in empty box you are going to write down what Five. You need to write number 5 over here. Now, here, one more thing is given. Yes, another number of ducklings. How many ducklings are here? Count by yourself. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there are 4 ducklings. So, we are going to add them. How? First, we are going to write this number in the empty box given over here. And then, after addition symbol, you can see an empty box is here. That is why we are going to write down this number. 4 over here. Now what we are going to do? We are going to combine them or add them together or count them together. How comes? You can just count with me like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Number 9 over here in this empty box which is over here after equality symbol. So the complete number is or I can say that we need to find out the missing number which was the number 9 which is the sum. You can know it. So this is very easy to count them together and get the answer. This is the first thing we did right now. Now we are going to solve an example in which we will have one add and is missing. Here is the example. Find the unknown number. This is the same statement. Okay, now check the part B. In the part B, there is written 6 plus there is written and there, there plus there is an empty box. Now, they, after equality symbol, there is written the number 8. Okay, so what to do now? When we are going to draw 8 lines because this is the sum total, we are going to draw 8 line and we are going to cut how many lines? Yes, we are going to cut the given lines, the first number that is 6. So, cut 6 lines, you will have how many lines remaining now? Yes, 2 lines remaining. So, write the number 2 in this empty box. Okay, so this is the first add end is given and the second add end you have find out. Now, what to do? In the second example, you can see that in the third part, we have the number 
that is the first number is missing that is unknown so you are going to see that there is an empty box plus the number 9 is equals to the number which is given 25 now what to do we are going to do the same thing okay the same which we did in the part b so draw 25 lines how many lines you need to cut yes nine lines you are going to cut so cut nine lines and count the remaining lines you will have how many lines count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen finally we have 16 number right now so we are going to write down this number over here in this empty box so we have find out what we have find out the sum which is very easy you already know how to do that and the second thing is first and then and the second add and if these were missing then you need to do subtraction means you need to take away from the given sum total Okay, hope this whole situation and the concept is clear to you guys. We'll get back to you with more interesting concepts of mathematics. Till then you need to take care of yourself as well as your family. Allah Hafiz.